Now, I think that we've had some good news today. Some people don't believe that way, but I do. Uh, word has come out that Russia and the United States have worked out an agreement about Syria's chemical weapons. Now, to war-weary Americans, such as myself, who have found ourselves turned into uh, those that don't want to intervene and act as the policemen of the world anymore because we're not able. Uh, our present commander-in-chief has chopped the military down so far in size that, that uh, a few more really big hassles and we couldn't handle it. Uh, and this crisis in general, you know, England and all the rest of our allies pretty much told us we'd be going it alone. The president kept talking about international uh, norms and all of this. The only problem was international uh, means United States to him. But we had good news today uh, through this offhanded comment that uh, Kerry made in that speech. It worked out. Uh, and it's really sad when a president of the United States gets upstaged by the president of Russia. I mean, uh, when more people in the United States agrees with Putin than they do Obama, something's very much wrong. And I think we can agree that someone is in over his head and out of his depth on this foreign affairs field. Anyhow and any way, I think this is a good thing that we've got this deal and we should uh, let it take its course. Uh, but now you got uh, the old school. Uh, you got Senator John McCain of Arizona and you got Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham was just on uh, Mike Huckabee here on Fox News Channel and said he was going to try to drum up, drum up support and get a new resolution in there that even if the president doesn't ask for a vote, he's going to try to push something through to where that force can be used over there. Uh, you know, this is just not helpful at all. Uh, these people uh, think they know it all. Uh, they think that evidently they're perfect in their knowledge and we're not perfect in ours. But uh, what gets me is that uh, these people proclaim to be Christians and uh, read the Bible and realize or they should realize, Obama included, I don't know what his religion is, I've never heard him say, say much about Jesus, but uh, uh, he claims it. But anybody that reads the Bible know that you really don't want to get messed up in anything in the Middle East over there. They've been fighting for uh, thousands and thousands of years. They'll continue to fight until Jesus comes, and then Jesus will settle it. That's the biblical point of view, and that's where I stand at. So, uh, Lindsey Graham and John McCain stand on arming them rebels over there. It's just utter nonsense to me. Pretty much like, like them to me now. Uh, I'd say the people in Arizona and the people in now, uh, South Carolina should really consider putting these two guys out to pasture. They weren't there for us on that initial vote on the uh, gun control debate, the gun ban that uh, they sided with uh, the Democrats on that and was going to uh, let this come out onto the floor. They were there for the main vote. We can be thankful for that. But they could have stopped it even before it got out onto the floor for this vote. But they didn't. So they make their choices and we make ours. Uh, I still say don't sell any weapons. To anybody over there, don't send weapons, don't lend weapons, don't give weapons. I don't care if it's a pea shooter to any of those groups over there, the rebels, because you don't know who you're giving them to. Obama don't know who they are. McCain says he knows who they are. I uh, don't know Graham's stand on that, but uh, uh, I really think McCain is full of hogwash, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, a lot of turning weapons back on us. We need to mind our own business. Thought that way two weeks ago, that way last week, and then this week. And uh, I say, let's give this time to work itself out. Thank you. Have a good evening.